Known for its white sand beaches, lining the Freetown Peninsula of the Atlantic Ocean, Sierra Leone, a West African country, having a population of over 8.9 million people, with a GDP of 16.4 billion US dollars, which is expected to rise by 3.1% in 2023 and 4.8% in 2024 respectively, which is being driven by the mining sector and the continued recovery of agriculture, manufacturing, construction and tourism, is coming up with a number of mega-projects in order to boost the country's economy. A Milcar Cabral Submarine Cable System project covering six West African countries such as Sierra Leone itself, Guinea, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, Liberia, and Gambia. This submarine cable system will be an optica fiber submarine cable connecting these countries in the field of information and communications technology or simply ICT, Economic Community of West African States or simply ECOWAS, being the organizer of the project's implementation with a task of negotiating with beneficiary countries, donors and other interested parties. The project derives from the execution of Articles 32 and 33 of the ECOWAS Revised Treaty, supporting the region's commitment to ICT reaching its desired goals. Being part of Axis 2 of the ECOWAS ICT Plan, a Ministerial Steering Committee and the Committee of Exports are set to ensure the project execution. The cable will not only provide a backlink for Sierra Leone's existing unique submarine cables, but help increase broadband penetration in member countries and promoting regional integration through digital communications and e-commerce facilities, making it easier to create a single digital market in the ECOWAS region. Sierra Leone Financial City also known as New Economic Zone in Sierra Leone. This mega project has a number of parties involved, including African Finance Corporation, a pan-African multilateral development financial institution, together with the government of Sierra Leone, with the contractor being Arise IIP, which is co-owned by AFC. The project will include development of a port, and rail system in Koya Industrial Zone, construction of energy systems and infrastructure to enable industrial activity, initially import substitution by manufacturing tiles, processing iron or used in the construction industry and developing pharmaceutical products, will be the main focus. The project's aim is to promote value capture in agriculture by producing finished and packaged goods from forestry cotton, soya and cashew. Pepal Port and Railway Expansion Project The government of Sierra Leone has plans of expanding or developing Pepal Port and Railway facilities. Development, expansion and management lease being given to Arise Integrated Industrial Platforms Limited the project will give 10% free carry to the government of Sierra Leone and provide access to rail and port facilities to other bulk mineral producers in the northern corridor. The project will also ease transport from Tonkalili through Bomboli to the Port Loco district, plus introduction of passenger rail services, allowing communities for better mobility rail services, allowing communities for better mobility and trade, and also increase mineral exports with an additional 20 million MT. 10% dividend to government, service rent to landowners, annual royalties pay, and other taxes. A total investment of 476 million US dollars will be injected in refurbishment of the Pepal Tonko Lili Railway Work, Pepal Port, Railway Connectivity to Marompa Mine. Introduction of passenger rail services and the rail connection to Guinea.
mini electrical grids in Sierra Leone. With a number of mini grid projects successfully completed, connecting over 13,000 homes and businesses to clean energy, more mini electrical grids are coming up in Sierra Leone. Through cooperation among parties, such as PIDG Company, Infroco Africa, and PowerGen Renewable Energy, over 1.2 million US dollars are available from Infroco Africa to ensure more mini grids under a wider program in Sierra Leone by the Universal Energy Facility. Over 1,660 circa new connections will be delivered across eight sites, providing first-time connections for homes and businesses. Freetown Peninsula Power Extension Project Japanese International Corporation Agency, or simply JICA in partnership with Sierra Leone, are coming up with a 15 million US dollars power extension along the Freetown Peninsula, being funded based on the request made by the President of Sierra Leone on the sidelines of TACD7 for Japan to extend electricity to the southwest part of the Freetown Peninsula. The project will include construction of 33 kV transmission line, about 46 km, 11 kV distribution line, about 49 km, and 33 kV substation of two sets, and to buildings of 33 to 11 kV substation. The project is aiming at expanding and stabilizing the power supply the southwest part of the Freetown Peninsula and also strengthen the basic power infrastructure of the Republic of Sierra Leone. Reconstruction of Kilahun Buedu Road Project As Sierra Leone continues to work on its road networks, the government is coming up with this project together with funding from African Development Bank, being a lot one of the Kela Hun Koindu Guinea Border Road Project. The actual execution of this 25 km road is in 2023 being expected to be accomplished with in over 24 months. Renovation and Maintenance of Schools in Sierra Leone Under the Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education, the Government of Sierra Leone is having a master plan, which is aiming at boosting education in the country. This master plan includes providing a whopping to 0.1 million US dollars to 538 schools throughout its 16 districts, with an aim of renovating and maintaining both government and government-assisted primary schools, based on data gathered from those most especially those in urgent need of repair. The grants are distributed on regional basis, where a number of schools select in each region are Eastern Region 125 schools, Northern 134, Northwest 97, South 123, Western Area Urban 28, and Western Area Rural 31. The process of distributing consists of granting 5,000 US dollars, to large and those schools with significant damages and smaller ones granted 2,000 US dollars. This countrywide project is supported by the World Bank, European Union, Irish Aid, Foreign Commonwealth Development Office and the Global Partnership for Education. 